This is going to be tying a uh, termination knot, which is what we use on the net wire or any of the uh, smooth wire. So, before I do it wrong. So the line's going to go on the outside of the post here. Here. So you're going to wrap it around the post. Now, if it's like a wood post, you want to have it pretty close to where you're going to be, but the metal post is really easy to slide in. So right here, this is going to be the working end. It's, on, it's going to go underneath the line. Now you're going to give yourself like a foot or so of uh, slack in it or an extra line there. There you're going to go under it. You're going to kind of put it like a crink in it, right? Then you're going to wrap it over and down just like this. this and then you're going to go up tight with it right so it's nice and you see that's going down underneath in that hole there right and then we're going to grab this crank back you up just a bit so you're going to grab this crank here you're going to come under and then you're going to go over this line because all the knots are over under over under right so you're crossed here and then you're going to do your first your lazy loop right and then you're going to keep cranking it until you get two good tight loops on there i sometimes go three and then you're going to turn the wire back on itself like i just did and that'll cause brittleness, which will cause it to, to snap. So let's try it again. So we're going to go around, right? Right, and we got our working end. You know, underneath, get enough slack here. Put a crank in it, over and down through that like that. Pull that loop, just get them tight, scoot it up. Kind of push this wire over the side, it kind of holds the knot there. There, then you're gonna go up, lazy loop, and then your two tight loops. Now you wanna keep pressure pulling outwards as you move over and that helps keep that ring nice and tight.